Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Docs to facilitate a classroom conversation and classroom breakouts when your students are socially distanced in your classroom. This question was inspired by a reader who sent me this question last week. We are back in person at school, but wearing masks and sitting six feet apart. I was wondering if you had any suggestions for running a class or a small group discussion like a breakout. I teach seventh and eighth grade language arts. And in fact, I do have an idea for this and it's one that I'm using in my own classroom. So you can see here, I have my sample discussion questions. These are actually copied from a document that I gave to my students last week. Now, what I did is before I gave a copy of this to my students, I went in here and inserted a little table, just a one by three table, because I had kids working in groups of three. So I had this one by three table, and at the top, I just have student one, student two, and student three. And then down here, I do the exact same thing. Insert that table with the student one, student two, and student three. And of course, these cells will expand as students write. And down here, I'll do it one more time. Insert that table, just like that. And student one, student two, and then student three. And from here, what I did, as you can see here, I have it called discussion questions for group one. Well, I made copies of this, went file, make a copy, and I made a copy that I called for group two. And go ahead and share that one or duplicate that one. And then I do the same thing one more time because I had three groups. I'm lucky I have small classes and let's go ahead and I'm gonna hit make a copy. And as you might expect, I'm just gonna call this discussion questions for group three. So now I have those three documents and when I wanna share it, rather than sharing it through Google Classroom, because Google Classroom will give me the option to share with all the students or to share individual copies with students, but it doesn't give me an option to share with groups of students or subgroups of students from my Google Classroom. So what I did, so I went into my share button, and I just hit group one. Now, obviously these are my demo students here. Hit send, and I shared it with that group. Now again, I'll do the same thing when I go to share this one. I can type in the group that I want to share it with, group two, okay, or whatever groups I'm going to share it with. And then as my students are discussing, and again, they're six feet apart in the classroom, what they're going to do is they're going to write their comments in here. So they're going to write their thoughts, their responses to this question here. And the three students working in this group will see the comments from each other. And then what I did is I just kind of monitored all three groups as they were working. And from time to time, I would stop the class and I'd highlight a comment from one of the three groups while they were chatting or talking right here in the document. So it's not a perfect solution, but it is a solution that's been working fairly well for me so far this year. When I wanna have those small group discussions that if I have my students, far apart. As always, for more ideas like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.